the Fred Winter Maiden Chase is next. Uh, this is over three miles. And I've totally got Corporal Jones for Kevin Minahan. Cozy Crusader for Derek Hinton. Lion Zone, Alex Cherry. Magic Contract, Craig Beckwith. Mountain Square, Jim Murray. Near Michelangelo for CDJ Liggett. Pimbury for Matt Cooper. Storm in a Teacup, Leon Van Rensburg. Tambourine Man, Martin Leon. Fatima Whitbread, Paul Rhodes. 15 Love, Graham Clutterbuck. Hahira City, Darren Thompson. N Ninochka stop for David Robertson. Pink Gin, David Hooley. Spree Inlet for Thomas Rogers. Through the Valley of Jumps. For Obi Wan and Verrazano Bell for Padre Hogan. So 17 in this then. And away they go. The first really big field of the season. Short run to the first. And there's a fall right in the first. Tambourine Man's gone. So Tambourine Man didn't exactly last very long, did he? So he's gone at the first. It's a bit of bad luck for me as they make their way towards the second. Oh, top three mile chaser crashes out at the very first fence of the season anyway. So near Michelangelo and Lion Zone and through the Valley of Jumps are three in a line and six lengths clear at the moment of the rest of them, except Tambourine Man as they get to the second. And over that they go. The Storm in a Teacup and a Spree Inlet, just the back marker as they get to the third. So they're all safely over. And Lion Zone on the outside of through the Valley of Jumps. And near Michelangelo is next through the Valley of Jumps was definitely around last season got close to winning a couple of times i think as well but didn't quite make it hence can still run in this as it's a maiden still but near michelangelo has now come through to take it off they come past the winning post they've got two complete circuits of the track still to go and near michelangelo is in front from through the valley of jumps in second and lion zone third i think that one might have been around last year as well bit of a gap back to 15 love graham clutterbuck obviously got some tennis thing going on this season out for horses with the names like Double Fault and Axe, I suppose. Anyway, near Michelangelo is the leader. Um, through the Valley of Jumps and then Lion Zone third. Get back to Verrazano Bell and 15 Love. Then comes Ahira City and Corporal Jones. Pimbury and Mountain Square. Be quite interesting later in the season because I've got a horse in my stable called Captain Mannering who runs over just over three miles with so Kevin Meenan. Ports is in the same race as mine in our dad's army race. Anyway, Michelangelo in the lead from Lion Zone in second. Through the Valley of Jumps is third. And then Hahira City as they get over the six. I'm pretty sure that somebody a few seasons ago had a horse called Don't Tell Him Pike as well. I may be making that up, but I've got a feeling I can remember it somewhere. And there's a fall of that. It's Mountain Square that's gone. So Mountain Square's out. That should be Jim Murray's, I think. That's Jim Murray's colours, but one or two other people have been using them in the last few seasons, but I think that'll be Jim's out as they get over the 8th, and they're all safely over that one then, with near Michelangelo in the lead, through the Valley of Jump 2nd, Lion Zone 3rd and 15 Love 4th, get back to Verrazano Bell, and then Corporal Jones, who's raced along all nonchalant, not panicking or anything, and then Hahira City and Ninochka Stop, with Fatima Whitbread, obviously racing to the point, and then Cozy Crusader and Magic Contract Pink Gin is after that one as they get over the ninth. That's the midway point in the jump in. And just lost the two so far as they get over the tenth. And then we lost the third one now because Cozy Crusader has gone as well. So Cozy Crusader crashes out there. It might be Daniel Fringes or it could be Paul Rhodes with the way the colours are going. Learn some new people's colours, those two in particular. I've caught a few different shades to be going on with, but it's near Michelangelo who's going to take them past the winning post then with one more circuit to go. Lion Zone is second, 15 Love is third, and through the Valley of Jumps is fourth. And pretty much the same all the way around, really. Then Hahira City, Corporal Jones is still nicely placed. Verrazano Bell is after that, then Ninochka Stop, and Pink Gin, still with a teacup, getting a bit closer. Magic Contract after that, then Fatima Whitbread and Spree and Let Pembury. Here's just the back marker of those that remain as they head into the final mile. With near Michelangelo in the lead. Lion Zone second and 15 Love back in third. They get to the 12th and the leader went right through the top of that one. But recovered well enough and continues to lead as they make their way towards the next through the trees. With Lion Zone and near Michelangelo disputing the lead then down towards the 13th. This is a ditch. 
they all go, they get him caught while spread out. And near Michelangelo is the leader. Lines are in his second. Gap back to Hira City over the 14th. Then comes 15, Love Verrazano. Bell is after that one through the Valley of Jumps trying to stick on with the leaders. One or two trying to make a forward move from the back. And they've got four and a half furlongs left to do it and they get over the 15th. And it's near Michelangelo and Lion Zone from Hahira City back in third. Then comes Verrazano, Bell 15, Love is after that one. Now making a forward move, Storm with a teacup. He's coming through the one that's dropping through the field. He's through the Valley of Jumps. Corporal Jones has also dropped right out the back and so has Spree Inlet. But it's near Michelangelo that's the leader then by two to 15, Love in second. Verrazano, Bell and Storm with a teacup. Now look to biggest dangers in third and fourth as they race down Woolsey third from home and 15 Love lands in the lead from near Michelangelo Storm and a teacup going well on the outside though Verrazano Bell is next they get to the second last and now it's almost four and a line as they race towards the final fence and Storm and a teacup on the outside is just in front Storm and a teacup then comes down to this final fence it's all going to be down to the jumping I think as they get to it and much better jump on the inside by Verrazano Bell and Verrazano Bell's in the lead but Storm and a teacup is fighting back and Storm and a teacup is stronger on the flat and Storm and a teacup but for Finishing like an absolute train is Hahira City. Hahira City is beginning to get up. It's, it's mighty close on the line. Hahira City was finishing really well. Storm and a teacup just stopped. And Padraig Hogan's has got a second wind as well. It's close. And I think Hahira City's got up to take this. And there'll be some questions asked about the jockey on Storm and a Teacup it's a win for Hahira City for Darren Thompson Storm and a Teacup for Leon van Rinsburg looked like he had the race win but the jockey seemed to stop in second Verrazano Bell for Padre Hogan was third 15 Love for Graham Clutterbuck fourth and Pink Gin for David Hooley ran on into fifth <laughs>